Hi, this is Freddy from IFM. Uh, today I just want to show you how to integrate um, your IOLink master to your um, profile and how to uh, obtain the IP address and how to get it running with the LR device software. So first of all, um, we would not like to go to our website and on our website you can of course choose your country, which uh, currently is Australia. Uh, with that, there's a little tab called uh, services and then downloads. So once you get to this point, this is all the important information regarding all of our uh, major release products. But if you go down to IOLink uh, setup and uh, setup guides and software, this is where you particularly will find all your information. So later on in a different video package, I'll explain to you how these uh, startup packages work and how you can basically use them to integrate to your um, existing PLC. But for today's exercise, we just want to go through and uh, show you how to establish communication with your devices. Now, there's two ways to do it under here. Um, we have an Ethernet device configurator, uh, which we can download, and that's an easy way to find any Profinet or Profi uh, um, a Profinet device or even Ethernet IP device available, you can actually download it from here. Um, I'll show you this particular one and the other one is having a parameter software uh, from us called LR device. Now this is a limited version, you can only establish connection to the uh, uh, IOLink master itself and from there do, uh, and, uh, do a little bit of a setup and change some parameters. But only basic stuff, we cannot change any of the sensor parameters with that. So yeah, after you've downloaded, of course, you need to register on our website. Um, if you're a really existing customer, you can type that in. Otherwise, you will have to go down and uh, just create an account for yourself and you have immediate access to download this files. So currently what I have, I've got the uh, the AL available. So I'll just show you what AL I've got connected. So I've got the AL1340. In this case, this is just a, uh, uh, this is one of our data line series. So it's basically just the IOLink uh, uh, with Modbus TCP interface. But for this exercise, it does not matter which IOLink we connected to at the moment. So it's a really easy one. So what I'll do, I've already installed that device configurator on my, uh, on my PC. Uh, so you just go and search for it. It looks like this. So once you access that, it automatically comes up with this view here. So there's a couple of things we can look. You can enable the protocols. So uh, your net, uh, net ident and net ident version two and DCP. So this is all your Profinet stacks and all your Ethernet IP stacks you need to worry about. Um, so I'll typically just leave it as standard. Uh, you can automatically get all of your devices. So once I got it connected, it'll automatically come up with, uh, with your IOLink device there. It tells you the name and description, and from there I've already selected a IP address for this. Uh, but in a case where you want to set up an IP address, you just click the device to connect it. You can also signal the device. So if I click signal, it'll just make the uh, Ethernet IP light uh, in a certain sequence. It'll just blink it. Alternatively, just go and say set IP address. So with that, you can enter your, your IP address. Uh, desired IP address and from there your IP address will be set. Um, this is without any fail uh, a, the best way to get um, communication with your device and to change the IP address. You can do it through the LR device software but sometimes with some firewalls and some issues it's it's not always the best choice to go. So I would much rather uh, prefer to use this. Um, so after that I can open up the LR device software over here um, so with that, it takes a while to load because it's got a lot of stuff in the background to load as well. So uh, with this, I can just either go and click uh, and enter my IP address that I had my device connected uh, with that. One. And there you can see your device has been found and it gives you the direct part number. So as you click on the main device, it'll just start loading all the other uh, sensor parameters for you. So after you've loaded everything, um, then from there you can either use your IOLink uh, upload button here or alternatively, it's always a better choice just to go and type in your desired IP address for that particular module. Um, and then it automatically just finds it with no fail. Um, particularly, this is the best choice because sometimes on, on some of the uh, PCs we install the software, there might be some background services or firewalls or etc. Uh, um, things that can possibly um, 
stop the communication to the LR device um, system in there. So with that in mind, I'll just go and uh, start the LR device software. So from here, this is typically where you could um, change your sensor parameters and even change the IOLink head modules um, parameters and settings from there as well. Like I mentioned before, uh, this is uh, you get a free version from the website, um, and obviously that version can turn into it'll just show um, limited on top. Um, but if it's a full version, then at least uh, we can uh, we can run with that um, as well. Um, so in this case, you can have two options. You can either go upload from the Island device, which can sometimes work, but I've seen a good success rate if you just add it over here, because we don't know uh, what type of software or what firewalls or what background services you got on your uh, existing PC. So sometimes that services can stop the LR agent uh, not to talk anymore to the device. So without any fail, this is the best thing to do how to get your comms up and running uh, easier from the device. So after adding that with no fail, it pops up with the actual device. And as you click on the head module, it'll just start loading. And with that, you can actually see uh, what sensors is connected because I have the full version. Otherwise on top here, you'll see a limited uh, version. So on here, there's a couple of settings you can, you can change on the device, uh, which I'll do a video later on as well. Um, uh, just uh, try and find that video on our YouTube channel. Um, alternatively, then, yeah, we can go straight into the sensor. So in this case, I've just got a laser distance sensor connected. So with that, you can automatically change uh, all the sensor set points on there. And also a wonderful view on the cockpit. You can actually look at the current device status. You can look at your centimeters on that device, whatever the device is reading. And it shows you a bit of a live trend since you are connected on the LR device. Um, this is not a historian. This will just, uh, once you connect to the device, uh, since I, my connection was established over there, it just starts recording until I click on the um, cockpit view. Um, so with that in mind, maybe I should, uh, just worth mentioning uh, the web interface that we have on this unit. Now, it's uh, just a view-only web interface. You're not, you cannot uh, do anything from it, which is really good for customers that's got remote support um, loaded because with that, you can actually see the current state of the device. You can also see the type of sensors that's connected. And most importantly, you can look at the um, um, power consumption from the module as well, which could be really, really handy in, in, in these cases. And there we have it. So with this case, I can see what my port uh, settings is. This is IOLink mode, digital in, digital out, um, or IOLink. I can see my comms mode on the board rate running, my cycle time, cycling all that data in there. And with that, it shows you the device name plus the serial number. I can see my uh, software version. I can see my current milliamps running from the device itself, the voltage. I can see if there's any short circuits present or overloads or under voltage. Um, this will basically just give you a count of how many under voltage you had uh, since the device was powered up. Once the device is uh, reset, it, you won't be able to get that data anymore, um, which is good enough to see your temperature from the device because typically if you have a customer in a remote side that needs to um, be a look after, you can actually just look at that uh, over there. Um, yeah, that's basically just an easy way to establish communication with that. And then with my next video, um, you can have a look at part two on how it's integrated to the actual PLC. Thank you. IFM, close to you.